Get him out. Okay, Raptor is dead. Uh, uh, spider, eat the corpse. Wrap the corpse up and and, and, and and make babies inside of it. Oh, I killed him, man. Hell yeah. I killed him. I, get out of here. Dude, this, this freaking... Did you drop a steaming pile? Oh, no. I, there's another drone right there. I'm spinning around in a circle. I don't know what's happening. Okay, we're good. So not only does Mike kill Dickhead twice, <laughs> he also trolls me and lies to me. <laughs> I'm sure he's not doing a purpose. Guys, I'm just joking. I like Mike. Mike's a cool guy. Don't don't yell at me. What's up, guys? I'm Luck here, and today we are back in action playing some Dino Overhaul, and it's going to be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. So, guys, I very much appreciate the support, and uh, all the comments from last episode, you guys really rocked it when it came to naming things, and uh, I just finished looking through all of the comments and uh, some other stuff now one guy named i have it written down grim striker uh, uh he recommended a mod for me based on because last time I, I was saying something about the binoculars or whatever but there's apparently a mod that's kind of like the uh, the scope or the spyglass and it also shows torpor and some other stuff which is really cool i didn't even know this mod existed let's see is it called the um yeah the um Om 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 omni killer uh, omni killer so yeah, we added it to the pack, uh, which is very cool. It says, this instrument is quite effective at long range reconnaissance. Uh, use mouse wheel to adjust the zoom. It can also activate doors and elevators. So you can actually activate things from a lot far away, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, what do we need? We need wood, hide, fiber, and crystal. We should be able to make that pretty easily. But before we do that, Let's go ahead and name some of our creatures. So last time we tamed a Rex. Uh, we also tamed a Croc. Uh, but now Crocs and there are the Capros. And then the Calicos are actually in the game now. And the Calicos are special. Um, Mike from Dino Overhaul, the creator of Dino Overhaul. He made uh, the Calicos only spawn in as Apex Alphas. And apparently they have some special abilities. So we might try to tame one of those today. And there's a few other things I wanted to do. But before we do any of that, let's go ahead and uh, look at the Rex here. Now, the Rex, we got several names. Well, actually, uh, we we got one name that I, I written. Well, we got more than one name, but I written down, uh, wrote down one name called Lucky because we were pretty lucky to get this Rex, so that's a pretty good name. Uh, as for our Croc here, uh, we got several names for this. By far, the most upvoted name was Sobek, and then there's also Kappa and several others. Um, I kind of want to name this guy. Let's name this guy Sobek. And, uh, yeah, this fits perfectly with this guy. That's awesome. Okay. But we are going to replace this guy at some point with the, uh, Dino Overhaul version. So whenever we do, I'll probably tame another one off camera and then we'll rename him Sobek. So that's going to be a thing in the future. As for, this is still, right, get your stupid Capros out of my base, bro. Is this Riot? Yeah, Riot's here. What do you have on you, dude? You got any super, super cheaty stuff that I can steal? Uh, you got a Ascendant Pistol. Okay. Uh, what else do you have, man? Do you have anything super amazing? A trike saddle. We got a long... Wait, is this the... No, this is the normal rifle. Where's that? Oh, here it is. Organic poison rifle. Fertilizer and apex. Oh, guys, I want to try this out. I know I'm stealing this from Riot, but let's just... What? What? That's really cool. I wonder how much... Okay, wait, wait, wait. 62 <laughs> and it's still going up can you can you smash it like can i just shoot a bunch of this does it cause it to like stack okay so it does stack and it actually shoots pretty fast now this isn't very good it would be i mean i mean i guess it's good but it's nowhere near as good as like the grenades or whenever we make uh or probably the, uh, the freaking sniper rifle or whatever um that we have uh, but this would be good as like a like a, a last like if you ran out of everything else or maybe you were tame, taming something small Also, it appears like this doesn't do any damage at all So if you're afraid of killing something this would be cool as well, but I really want one of these these guys I'd love to get like what percentage is this this is 200 and oh wow, that's actually pretty good for Mastercraft um, Which I mean, I guess there's only one thing above Mastercraft which is ascend it uh, But I'd like to get like a five or six hundred percent. I bet that's pretty good It probably does over a hundred torpor per hit so yeah, uh, that's a thing, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and give this back to him. But yeah, this is cool. The organic rifle right here. Let's go ahead and give this back to him. Uh, as for the Archaeopteryx here, now we got some name suggestions. And by, and the, the one that people liked the most was something called Birdo Chando. But I didn't really like any of the name suggestions for the Archaeopteryx. So what I want you guys to do is we need some more name suggestions for the Archaeopteryx. I want a cool name. And uh, none of the names that I saw last time were ones that I kind of really liked a lot. So uh, let's let's try this again. Let's do some more 
names for the Archaeopteryx. Let's do it like a super amazing epic name. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this Omni. Uh, Om. Om. God, I cannot say this word. Omnicular. Omnicular. Why can't they just call it like the Omni Nocular or something? I don't know. Omnicular is weird. Let's we'll just call it the Omni. We're just gonna call it a spyglass. We're gonna get rid of our old stupid spyglass. You suck, spyglass. And we're gonna get rid of this guy right there. Uh, the other ultimate tool for reconnaissance right here. The ultimate long range reconnaissance tool. Well, not anymore, sucker. We got this right here. Let's go ahead and look at it. So this actually gets rid of, you can see the whole screen, okay? Um, and then here, let's see if we can actually see a creature from over here somewhere. Let's see, is there any creatures around? I don't see any creatures. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at that, that guy. That guy is a... What are you? You can also zoom in with the mouse. Okay, apparently this is too far away. Oh, wait, no? No, yeah, yeah. So, Gallimimus, level 760. And then, is there a different mode? Yeah, Torpor. Zero out of 6,795. So, you press N, you can change it between health and Torpor. I kind of wish it showed both of them at the same time. Um, and also has this little thing because apparently you have to actually be focusing right on them I thought it showed everything on the screen, uh, but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I like this a lot This is definitely a pretty cool thing here um, Anyways, also Mike told me that the way to progress in dino overhaul is there's a big emphasis on packs so Everything can form a pack, okay? So that means three creatures. Like, if we got three Rexes, three, a three Rex pack is very powerful. A three Spino pack is very powerful. A three Aloe pack is powerful. You know, three Carno pack is powerful. And all that kind of stuff. Apparently, Spinos are actually... Um, they're about equal to a Rex, but they're just faster in Dino overall. Also, apparently, the Rex has been buffed and changed a little bit. Let's see, he has 9,000 health. Uh, I'm not sure what he's been, how much he's been changed. Maybe we'll test that out here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, Mike buffed him a little bit, just a tiny bit, just based on my feedback from last episode. Because he kind of felt like the Carno, but slower a little bit. Um, let's actually check out the Carno right here. Yeah, so I mean, he has like twice the health of the Carno, right? But I feel like they did about the same amount of damage, except for the Carno actually attacks faster. He has a better attack speed. So he ends up outputting like even more damage than the Rex right here. So yeah, big emphasis on packs, so we need to start taming packs of things. And the reason, he also told me that prime compies, which I've mentioned this previously, are like the best thing to tame kind of like early on, right? So, we're gonna try to get prime compies, and prime compies also have the gang feature. So not only do they form a pack, they also have the gang feature, like normal compies. Normal compies can have a plus eight, I think, and then prime compies can have a plus three in their gang thing. So they, they actually turn out to be very strong. And the gang bonus, I think, increases damage and resistance. So yeah, we can tame some of those. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to go fly around. We're going to look for a calico, and we're looking for prime compies. Those are the two things, and also turrets. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. We have these guys right here, the uh, the turrets we can spawn in. Give me... Oh, okay, it's MK1. Okay, uh, I want an MK2 or 3. I wonder if... Uh... Oh, oh, we got an MK3. Okay, let's see what you can pick up. Wait, you can pick this guy up? I had no idea. Oh my god, R2-D2 is on my shoulder. Dude, look at this. R2-D2 is on my freaking shoulder right now, dude. Okay, so. What's up, Galley? Uh, dude, this Galley is crazy. Okay, let's uh, let's throw R2-D2 down. Okay, let's, uh, where's R? Okay, you're down there. R2-D2, I need you to follow me. If you want to live, you must follow me. Let's have you attack this target. Okay, no, 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 pass it. Stop it. Okay, you know, the Capro can attack it. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's see how cool this guy is. Also, he has random stuff in his inventory for some reason. Let me go find a creature for this guy to actually fight here. Okay, so R two D two. I weird. I can't see your freaking name, man. There's like some kind of weird thing where I can't see your stuff. Anyways, do you have stats? No, I don't see your stats. What are your What's your health, man? Let's just Let's just look at you right here. Really, really. I, I don't know why. Okay. Anyways, let's just have you follow me. Follow me over here, bro. Uh, take this guy out right here. Take out the Pteranodon. Right here. Boom. You see this guy? Attack that target. Get him. Get him, R2-D2. You got this, bro. Yeah, go get him. Get him, R2-D2. The epic battle between R2-D2 and the Pteranodon. Yeah. Uh. Did the server crash? Did telling R2-D2 to attack the Pteranodon crash my server? I swear to God. Did it really cause the server to crash? Oh my god! Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, is it crashed? 
Okay, apparently that was my pro my fault. Not th the server didn't crash. My video driver crashed. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, okay. So this guy. Oh wait. Oh, it's like over there now. It has fifteen hundred health. Uh, also, Mike changed the. Uh, looks like you changed the uh, fuel to be used like the other flamethrower. So now it's percentage based instead of like like ammo, which was what it was before. I don't. I don't know why it was ammo before. Um. He might have made this before, like, the flamethrower got added or whatever. Or maybe that was just a change he meant to do. I have no idea. Anyways, as you can see, you can see that the percentage is going down. And, dude, this thing is powerful, man. Oh, my God. This thing is so powerful. That is crazy. Um, anyways, I, I guess R2-D2 is... That is so strange that it's like that. I want to get him to fight something, but maybe he needs, like, ammo or something. I don't know. What if I give you a high octane using a flamethrower... What if I give you one of those, bro? <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna be able to use that? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We'll play with this guy later. I'm gonna take him back to base. We're gonna fly around and then let's um let's go find some prime copies finally. And then I wanna find that calico. So apparently the calico is still tamed with beer jars, uh, which unfortunately we don't have, but I mean beer isn't that hard to make. It just takes oh god. It just takes a while. Oh my god, yeah, baby! I dude, I love this flamethrower, it's so good. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to make some beer jars. So let me see if I can go ahead and get that process started. I don't know if we have any mods that makes making beer faster. Okay, so to make beer, we can use the bulk dry beer keg. There might be other ways in the pack, I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and make this. And then apparently you don't need water. We just need, so we need to make jars. We need to make this, and then we need to put thatch and berries in it, and it should make beer. I don't know how long this process takes, though. So, yeah, we're gonna find out, I guess. So bulk dry requires wood, metal, and some... Oh my god, this is actually... This is actually a process. Also, we need to get freaking our... We need to get Dickhead back. Is that, was, is that what his name was? Uh, we, need to make, we need to tame a Dickhead 4.0. Also, maybe getting like an Apex Alpha like Trike or whatever the Apex Trike is. Apparently, they're pretty rare because they're so good. Which I can imagine the normal Trike is really good as well. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we need to get him back... Uh, because he's just good for... Okay, anyways, let me get this stuff to make this real quick, and then we're going to play with it. We need to make a bunch of jars as well. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. Uh, we'll make a couple of these, just because I do not know how fast they are. Okay, yes, let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Boom! And we shall throw everything away. Or not away, we'll put it back. And then now we need to make some jars. How do we make jars, man? Uh, how do you, how do you, I, you know, I haven't made a jar in such a long time, because I always skip straight to the, the canteen, so cementing paste, hide, and crystal, that's actually, that's pretty easy, we'll make as many jars as humanly possible, cementing paste, and then, wait, what was it, it was, uh, it was hide, we need hide, uh, there we go, boom, and then let us make, uh, 41, sure, <laughs> we'll make 41 jars, hopefully they stack, especially as beer, okay, so we're making that, now we just need to get berries and thatch. Uh, unfortunately, no, we got an ankle though. We can get berries and thatch. Yeah, we got an ankle though. So let me go get that real quick. Okay, guys. So I have uh, everything we need. I got some berries. I got some thatch. Uh, but the ankle managed to get a lot of thatch, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get the bear beer kegs. Let's place down the beer kegs. Maybe we'll place them like right here, possibly. Maybe we'll make this like the beer room uh, or the w room where we do random stuff. Okay, boom. Let's uh, make sure that this is even, and then let's stick this guy, like, right there as well. What's happening? What's happening? Something's happening. What's being attacked? Really? Really? Why are you attacking Oster right now? Oster, are you good? Yeah, you're good, man. Oh, God. I'm too fat for him. I'm too fat for him. Um, you know, he, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Well, since everything's fine, let's just go ahead and place the thatch in here. So, let's give it half the thatch. Let's give them half the berries. It should start making some stuff. It says it doesn't need water, so I don't know why it says not irrigated. Stop mixing. Okay, yeah, so it's going to automatically do it. Okay, put thatch and berries in this. Begin mixing and wait for fermentation into beer. Now, yeah, I don't really know why. Well, I mean, I guess you would need water. I mean, berries also have water as well. I don't know. Anyways, it's fine. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a thing. We're going to get... Oh, wait, no, we need, uh, we need jars. So, let's give this 20. Uh, let's do, yep, we'll do 20 per thing. So there's 20, and then we're going to do 20 in here. I mean, 40 beer jars should be plenty, right? Like, this should, this factory, our new beer processing factory should be more than enough to do everything that we need to do. Is this going to be fast or slow? That's what I want to know. 
Here, I'm gonna wait a while and uh, we'll be back. Okay, guys, so the beer keg seemed to be working. I've already made a few jars. Now, I'm gonna, I haven't taken any of the jars yet. We're gonna have to look for the calico later. Uh, right now, we're actually heading towards the jungle, and I'm pretty sure Prime Compies spawn in the jungle. I'm not sure where else they spawn, but I think they spawn in the jungle. So, we're probably gonna park uh, Oster somewhere safe and then kind of like roam through the jungle on foot. Now, roaming through the jungle is on foot is very dangerous, and I wouldn't even, uh, like, consider doing this if I didn't already have some sweet armor, and then this flamethrower, and then my movement speed. So, running on foot and finding copies is probably going to be easier than trying to fly and find copies. Uh, so, I've never seen these guys before. I don't know how big they are. I don't, I don't know what they look like. So, I, I think on foot, I'm more likely to actually spot them. As for taming... I'm not really sure guys. We might have to actually go back and make like a trank rifle or something uh, Make some darts actually for the first time, uh, but we're gonna try with the poison grenades I don't know how much torpor they have and all that kind of stuff But we do have the new binoculars as well, uh, which is gonna tell us how much uh, torpor they do have from a safe distance uh, Which is very good. I guess I'm gonna park this guy maybe on this island right here possibly I don't know if this is the safest location for him. Uh, is there anything dangerous on this island? Looks like uh, well, there's a dilo, but you know what we could do we can just park him like right. No, no. Okay. Or, la or land in the water. That's perfectly all right as well. You know, no big deal. Get out of here, Dilo. Okay. Maybe here. C come. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to look around, guys. Okay. So I guess it's just a redwood biome where the flames don't actually appear. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where the flames don't actually appear. So I'm sure Mike will watch this video. I was actually just talking to him on Discord. And he was wondering if the flames would appear because apparently this is only an issue on the center map here. Oh my god, that trike. I was staring death in the face just now. Yeah, apparently only the center map is where this is an issue. Uh, so apparently the pl flames... Oh god, what is that? What is this? This is an apex... Okay. No, 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 no. No, no. I want nothing to do with that right there. What's up, Raptor? Get out. Okay, Raptor is dead. Uh, dead. Spider, eat the corpse. Wrap the corpse up and, 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 and make babies inside of it. Oh god, oh god, what is that? Okay, that's a normal raptor. Guys, I'm setting myself on fire. Um, everything is going bad. Uh, my armor, my armor's already almost dead, by the way. Probably from me setting myself on fire. So yeah, things are not going near close to his plan. An Apex Fiomia? What's the point of an Apex Fiomia? What's up? Apex Dodo? Okay, level 409. A female, too. We actually need that guy. We'll worry about that later, though. I might need to go back and actually fix my equipment. Uh, so yeah, they already already short trip into the thing, and we already need to like go back and like re-equip. Now we, I mean, we're we're probably oh, what is this? This is a adolescent dial. Okay, you're dead. I probably shouldn't have killed you actually. Um, yeah, give me all of that prime meat, baby. What's this guy? This is guy. That's a dialo as well. He's dead. Dude, this flamethrower was amazing. The flamethrower was really, really good. There's a tape of jar. Oh, lag. There's a tape of jar over there. Is this a guy? Uh, no, that's a normal one. Okay. No copies yet. I'm going to keep you guys informed. We might have to head back here pretty soon, though. Oh, guys. So I've encountered some zombie dot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Please don't hurt the monkey. Don't hurt the monkey. Don't hurt, hurt the monkey. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I've encountered some zombie dodos and some other cool stuff. Uh, but I encountered... Oh, my God. What's with all the stuff everywhere, guys? Just freaking chill out, bro. Just chill out, man. Okay. Yeah, that guy's dead. Come here, Ed Argent. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? Fine. That's perfectly fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. A vulture, Argent. <laughs> Everything's dead. Where's the monkey at? I'm on fire right now. Monkey, where are you at, bro? Man, I wanted to tame this freaking monkey. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, no. Uh, Sabertooth. Oh, God. No, I want... No, no, no. Sabertooth. Sabertooth, come back. Oh, no. I need... No, you son of a bitch! Oh, I'm so, okay. I'm so I'm so. Oh god. Oh no, you killed my beautiful monkey! My beautiful monkey! I don't. Where'd you? Are you dead? You're dead, right? Dude, that monkey was like a level thousand and forty, man. I wonder if it's the same one. Let's see. Oh god. Okay, you have stuff on you. You're, you're doing something. I don't know what you're doing. Oh god. Don't. <laughs> Stay away from me. Okay, we're good. I think. Okay, yeah, he was level 1,040, man. Oh, dude, look at this slingshot. Hell yeah, I want that slingshot for sure. Plant species X seed, I'll take that, dude. I'll take all of this. This is some good stuff right here. Oh, well, I'm going to continue looking around, I guess. They ruined my beautiful, perfect monkey dreams. Oh, what is that? Is that an Apex Karn over there? Apex Karn level 450. Wait, is he? Oh, he's fighting a drone. 
He's fighting a drone. Uh, the Carno has. Let's uh, let's switch modes here. How much uh, torpor? The drone. The uh, he has six thousand eight hundred seventy-three torpor. That's actually not that much. We need to start taming some freaking apexes, guys. That guy's not high enough level for me, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm judgmental. You suck, Carno. I'm judging you because you're bad. <laughs> I don't want to fight him, though. Actually, you know, maybe we should go kill him. Actually, he might give us some sweet loot. Also, uh, Mike told me that the, um, the loot tables for certain creatures are different. So uh, the organic tri- for, uh, Okay, so like the, the, the primes I, were, I was fighting, they have a much wider loot table. So if you're looking for something in uh, particular, you're less likely to find it on the primes. But... If you're looking, like, if I'm looking for the organic trank rifle, the best place to look is on spiders, frogs, that kind of stuff, like the apex versions of all those things that actually have torpor qualities, and uh, you're more likely to find all that here. Oh, I killed him, man! Hell yeah! I killed him! I, get out of here! Dude, this, this freaking thing... Did you drop a steaming pile? Oh, no, I killed the drone. I thought that was a steaming pile of shit right there. Yeah, give me all of this. So, dude, the drones give, like, stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You didn't give me any... Oh, oh God. What's happening? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. What's happening? Is that another drone? There's another drone right there. I'm spinning around in a circle. I don't know what's happening. Okay, we're good. We're good, I think. Drone, give me your goodies. Yes, give me all of those goodies. Also, I killed the zombie I killed. I got a scarecrow off of him. Okay, yeah, I guarantee to scare the crows away. Uh, so that's, that's, and, and how's my armor? My armor's okay, I'm about to lose my pants though. Oh guys, look what I found. So I just killed a Aranio, and I got a blueprint for a organic rifle poison. Uh, only 171 weapon damage though. So, and we got also got a spider thing, which is pretty cool. I also killed an Apex uh, Prime earlier. A, uh, it was a Aranio or, no, it was a Scorpion. That's what it was. I didn't get any good loot, but I, I mean, it was pretty cool nonetheless. Then we got a fabricated pistol and then a Aranio saddle. Nice. Okay. I'm still looking around. I have not seen a copy yet. These things also, I found a trike, an Apex trike. I killed it though because it was only like level 70. Apparently these things are really, really rare though. Um, yeah, right here. But yeah, I'm still looking. I, I'm looking for a trike, I guess, and then also the copies. I, I still have not seen the copies, so I'm gonna continue looking around though. Okay guys, we're back. So, I am back at base. I actually found a prime copy, but everything went wrong. I didn't expect it to be able to destroy stone structures, so what I did was I recorded a whole segment where I built a structure, and I trapped it inside of it. As soon as it got trapped inside of it, it immediately started attacking and destroyed it. It did like 400 damage to the structures, killing almost all of the structure instantly. And then I still managed to actually knock it out. But the problem was, is it ran into the water, and then I it actually finally knocked out in the water while I was shooting pistol bullets at it. And, um, <laughs> it, it drowned in the water. So, it was a beautiful experience up until the point where it drowned. So, I'm making actually trank uh, darts right now. Uh, I've been grinding like crazy. This is a long time later. And I also made some more fuel. I ran out of fuel in the, uh, the forest there. I'm making some more grenades. So this time, what we're going to do is we're not going to try to build any structures. We're just going to go out. I have a riot shield with me. Uh, we are going to try to shoot down on it. And the copy that I found had 17,000 torpor and it had like 8,000 health. So these guys are very powerful. They're more powerful than my Rex. Like... That's how crazy it is. One tiny little copy before the gang bonus, uh, before the pack bonus, it is more powerful than my Rex. Those things are beasts. Now, the only problem is they're not big enough to ride, and even if they were big enough to ride, you can't ride them anyways. Um, well, that's the way Mike is made anyways. So, uh, we need to get a good, fast, agile mount, which we already have the Carno, right? So maybe we can tame a, a couple other Carnos, and then maybe like a couple other, or maybe, or maybe do like the whole aloe thing, I'm not really sure. And then we're going to try to make a prime copy army. Uh, anyways, I'm going to finish crafting all this, we're trying to get everything prepared. And then uh, we're going to go back and try to find another copy. And then I have the shield here just because hopefully it absorbs some of the damage, and then I'm going to try to do the whole grenade thing. So like, I'm going to hold it up, and then the thing is... Oh yeah, also, um, I'm, I'm gonna try to use this. I'm very curious to see how many, um, how much torpor this does. Actually, we can test this out right now. Let's try it on uh, Riot's Croc here. Boom, we shot it, it does 2,000. Okay, so, uh, we should be able to actually knock out the copy pretty easily with this thing. Dude, look at this, it has like the lava texture on it. That's really cool. 
Wait, 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 wait. Dude, this thing is massive, man. That's really cool. It has like a lava texture on it. That's awesome. Uh, now, getting a super amazing one of these would be even better. Uh, did it do any more torpor like over time? I'm assuming it does torpor over time as well, right? Okay, it did. Okay, so we're at 2,000 right now. Let's just watch it. So we're at 4,000. And it's very slowly going up. So it looks like you can just kind of like spam it maybe. No, it's going up a little bit. Not n Nothing that really matters too much though. Anyways, uh, we're going to be fully prepared this time. And then now that we have this rifle, we should be able to start knocking out some creatures a lot easier. Really, my biggest thing is we have the metal and all that stuff. We didn't have the gunpowder. So I've been spending the longest amount of time making freaking gunpowder. So I've had to get a lot of spark powder, a lot of charcoal, and that kind of thing. Uh, but uh, we finally have it, and we're, we're good. We should be prepared, I hope, anyway. So we're going to head back over there. Also, I made the uh, organic rifle here. Let's um, let's do this. I want to move everything back one. Uh, the bolas might be able to hold it in place. Actually, that might be a good strategy too for the prime compi. Let's try out the organic. Now we don't really need the organic, but I thought it'd be kind of cool just since it's kind of like free. So we test this out. We tested right. So it's nine nine hundred and twelve. What? It broke. I didn't even get to use it. And it's it's. It's gone. Oh, no, there it is. Wait, what? What is it doing? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't do that much at all. But, I mean, it could still be useful, though. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, let's see how our beer production is going. Okay, our beer production is actually going pretty good. We might be able to tame the uh, Calico. Uh, so, yeah, 16. That should be plenty. Um, I'm glad this is actually working. And it's very convenient without having water, either. Uh, and it works a lot faster than vanilla, as well. Because normally, vanilla, this would take hours upon hours upon hours just to get like one or two okay guys are back so i just tried to tame a copy i found a copy it's level 1025 and it has it has a lot of torpor now i tried to tame it but it all went wrong i didn't die it had to escape it's this exact same copy one thing i've realized is they can break out of structures you can't use the grappling hook because they can climb straight up mountains like they're flat. Like, I grappling hooked to that hillside right there, it climbs straight up and attacked me. It can stay on the wall, it can attack you. Bolas don't work on it, so I couldn't freeze it. So absolutely no type of tactic whatsoever works on these compies. And I've been having one hell of a time trying to tame them. So, what we're going to do is I went back to my original strategy. I know you guys haven't seen any of this. It's because I keep failing and I keep deleting the footage. We're gonna go back to the original strategy because at least whenever I did whenever I did the original strategy, he got distracted, the comp he did, on the structure and gave me enough time to actually shoot it, well not shoot it, use the uh, grenades on it and uh, it worked out pretty well because he got distracted inside of here, he killed everything and he took his time on it. So. Let's go ahead and get out the structures here. Let's uh, let's see if we can distract the copy. What's up, man? Where'd he go? Wait, actually, you probably want to shoot him a few times. Yeah, where's he at? Where's? Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, see, 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 he just screws me right here. I'm screwed right now. Okay, so let's run back over here. Oh my god, oh my god, this guy sucks balls, dude. Okay, we're gonna continue running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, is he ch he's chasing? Me. Okay, so now let's run inside of here. Boom. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Did I? What happened? What happened? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Here, let's run inside here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh my god, please get distracted in there. Please, please, just hurry up. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so he's gonna destroy this. He's gonna destroy it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please, please just stay just stay distracted. Please just stay distracted. Just stay just, just stay distracted. Just stay distracted, dude. Oh my god, he's still not out. He's still not out, dude. Oh my god, he's still not out. I'm just gonna waste all of them. I know this is a waste. I don't really care. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. How is he not down? How is he not down? No no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is he down? Is he down? Is he down? Why is he not chasing me? Why is he not chasing me? Is he down? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where'd he go? 
Oh, there he is. Oh, he's running it. Wait, he's running away. He's running away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come back here. Come back. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm gonna. He's gonna. Oh no, he's gonna get all of his torpor back. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Come back. Oh no, what is he doing? Guys, oh my god! Okay guys, so after trying to tame this guy for a while, I've tried so many different strategies. And I just talked to Mike. Apparently, they can't actually break through metal. They can do every other tier. I, I, I figured, normally dinos, they, they can break through everything except for stone. So I figured if, they, if, if it could do stone, it could probably do everything. But I guess I was wrong, so they can't break through metal. So our, our strategy is actually going to be, I've also cut out a lot of the frustration I've had with this. Uh, this is, <laughs> I've been trying to tame this guy for like an hour now. Um, anyways, I got all my stuff back, which is good. That's the important aspect. Except for I broke all my armor again, which sucks. I'm going to have to repair all this stuff again. Uh, we are going to bake. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to. I could use that wood, actually. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw all this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna repair all my stuff. Uh, grappling hook is pretty much useless since they can climb everything. Um, let's. Uh, I mean, I guess I could keep it on me. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna throw away all this stuff right here. Well, yeah, we need to make metal. So metal. Let's. Uh, let's look. No, this is the wrong thing. I'm looking in the wrong thing right now. Uh, where is? Yeah, this is the S plus. I think. Right. Yeah. Let's see. Metal. Yes. Okay. So I want to make metal windows. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make a two by two. I mean, it could probably be a one by one, but I want to make sure. So let's make eight, eight, eight of these guys, okay? And then we need to make. He might be able to pop out the top. I'm not really sure. Uh, we're gonna make, I guess, maybe two ceilings. We're gonna do this. Well, I guess you guys didn't see. I was gonna say we were gonna do the same strategy we did that, that before. Uh, then we're gonna make a ladder. I think. Um, Wherever the ladder is. I'm not sure where the ladder is. But, uh, yeah, we're going to make that. And then we're going to try to trap him in there, okay? And then lock him in. And then g go a level above him. Use a ladder to climb up. If we can't use a ladder, then we'll just, like, grappling hook up there or something. We'll, like, grapple jump. I'm not sure. But hopefully he won't be able to reach me. And then we're going to throw grenades down into it or through the windows. So, actually, no, you guys saw me. You, saw, you just saw me do the thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we're going to do that. Uh, and with metal, like... The cool thing about this is we can actually keep these on us at all times and then maybe use this to like help tame in the future. Uh, but these prime compies have pretty much been like programmed to like be anti everything except for I guess metal. Now, another strategy is obviously this would be easier with two people, but I'm determined to do this solo. So, also I realized too we've already recorded. I've already recorded like. 30 minutes of footage and I've been playing for like four hours or five hours and <laughs> we haven't accomplished a single thing yet besides make beer uh, but that's perfectly all right um, let's I've actually got a lot of equipment and gear by killing stuff in the forest so I guess we have accomplished some stuff and I made beer uh, so yeah we might not can't tame the calico today we might tame it next time um, but anyways, I'm gonna, I'm guaranteed, I'm gonna get this freaking prime copy. I'm gonna make ladder, I'm gonna meet you guys back over there, and then, I guess what we'll do is we'll take a pteranodon, and then maybe try to lure it into the thing, and then maybe we can even land on top, actually, we'll do that, let's do that, uh, let's see, ceiling, I'll make two more of these guys, and that way we'll be, be able to, um, Actually, we'll make even more. We'll be able to land on the ceilings and then throw down or shoot down into the, the thing. Okay, guys, we're back. So, uh, the copy is like right... The Titan Turkey consumes you. Uh, the copy is like right over there. He's just chilling. Uh, so, what I thought we'd do is while he's distracted, let's go ahead and build up our thing. So, apparently, he can't kill metal. So, I'm very, I'm very much hoping that he can't kill metal. And we're going to block him in with uh, this right here. But for right now... What we're going to do, also, I don't know if he can climb up straight up, like, walls or structures. So just to make sure, we're going to stick a couple hatch frames right here. And then the hatch frames are going to allow us, it's going to be kind of like an anti-spider wall, like in Minecraft or anything like that. So the compy won't be able to come up here, but he'll still be trapped right here. 
So, let's go ahead and get a couple ladders. I'm going to put a ladder, like, like right there. Boom. Uh, can we, can we, oh, uh, hold the retract ladder. What? I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. Can we, actually, no, we'll, we'll stick it inside. Inside's probably going to be better. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stick the ladders on both sides inside. That way we can come over here. Now, we might not be able to get up here, so we'll grappling hook, last case scenario. And so, while we're up here, is I was going to build a little pteranodon platform, but I can't find my pteranodon. I might have to go find him here in a second, but we're going to put this, like, right here. And we were going to park him, like, right here, up here. Uh, but anyways, we're going we're gonna, to uh, drag him in here, and then we're going to trap him with walls. I'm going to go ahead and stick, uh, actually, I guess, I guess we're good. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can just do it like this? I mean, do we even really need our pteranodon? Let's see. So we have the grappling hook, yes. And then ju ju let's just practice. So we're going to come over here. And then we can just be like, we can come up here and then just like gra grappling hook and then jump up like that. Like so. Except for less dramatic right there. Uh, actually, let's um let's give us some walls to uh, here. No, nope, nope. Let's let's climb up here. Yeah. Let's give us some walls to like hit possibly. Why? Okay. Well, any okay. It doesn't matter. Let's get the copy, and let's do this. I'm prepared. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I guess you were closer than I thought. You were closer than I thought. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Why, why, why is my, okay, grappling hook. Yes, 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 yes. Run around, run around, run around. Yes, 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 yes. Climb up. Good God. No, 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 no. He, like, hits me. Oh, my God, guys. Okay, we're up here. We're up here. He's not inside, but we are up here. He is doing damage to this. He's doing damage to this, guys. No. This isn't what I wanted at all. This is not what I wanted at all. Maybe we can, like, still trap him in here. Oh, no, guys. Here, follow me. No, he's like... You know what we do? We're just going to shoot him until he... I, I forgot to actually bring the grenades. So we're gonna have to shoot him regardless. Oh my, he just killed it! Ah, uh, well I died. Um, <laughs> prime copies are like impossible to tame solo. Now I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm sure people have done it. I just can't seem to figure out a way or get lucky enough to do it. My, my gear is not good enough, I guess. Um, I, so he kills all structures. I mean, Mike told me he didn't kill metal, but he still kills metal. And I don't really know how to tame him. The only way I could think of taming him is it, like, seriously, the only way I can actually think of taming him would be to have someone fly you around as you grappling hook under them. So, so not only does Mike kill Dickhead twice, <laughs> he also trolls me and lies to me. <laughs> I'm sure he's not doing it on purpose. Guys, I'm just joking. I like Mike. Mike's a cool guy. Don't don't yell at him. He told me he actually got messages um, of people blaming him for killing Dickhead. Um, yeah, don't do that. I'm just joking. It is his fault, though. Like, I still blame him. I blame him mostly for creating the mod and making it as evil as it is. But I blame him because he straight up doesn't know his mod and lied to me about the metal tier. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna figure out a way. This video is, oh my, we're gonna, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, guys. I don't even know. Okay, guys, we're back. So, what we're gonna do is, I've parked Ostra up here. The prime copy's below us. I parked him so far away just so we can't, you know, I'm very fortunate I decided not to use Ostra or I couldn't find him or whatever because he would be dead right now before when we were building the structure. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to repel, uh, okay, down from here. So, Let's go ahead and lower ourselves. Let's see if we can find the stupid copy. Now the thing is, is he's probably gonna like run away, right? So let's just get as close as we possibly can to him. Okay, so he's angry right now, right? He's angry. So we're not gonna shoot him. We're gonna throw mass grenades down on him because uh, it, it doesn't actually, it's, it's not like we actually hit him, right? So this actually should be the easiest way to knock him out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm just going to throw all these grenades just because, oh yeah, oh wait, wait, okay, let's, uh, oh wait, 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 let's, um, oh god, oh god. 
Okay, okay, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Uh, before he loses all his torpor, let's shoot him. Let's shoot him, let's shoot him, let's shoot him. Yes, 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 we should be able to get him, guys. We should be able to get him, guys. Uh, all I, oh my god, he's stuck. This is the perfect scenario. This is absolutely the perfect scenario. As long as he does not turn around. But even if he does, I feel like we got him, guys. We got him, 100%, right here, baby. Right here, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, he's down. Yes, thank you freaking god that he is down guys okay guys so i uh i left the freaking narcotic up there on uh freaking oster right there so i did i had to grappling hook back up there and get it but everything is going good i'm pretty sure we have enough he actually the uh the prime meat he he like he eats it pretty fast and it gives him quite a bit of tame so i think we can easily tame this guy so the best strategy was to just be dumb and grappling hook but we had the grappling hook from an area he couldn't climb up. So you can still grappling hook, I guess. Don't use any structures and don't try to ball at him. That's my that's my thing. I'm going to go yell at Mike and then uh, tell him that I finally knocked this guy out. So I'm very proud of myself, <laughs> which is sad. So <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm going to finish tail and I'll be back and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with him for a little bit. Now we get it. Need to get another prime copy and get a female. So that's going to be another experience, and we need to breed them. So once we get a female, we never have to worry about this ever again. But I'm assuming eventually uh, we'll have like a super amazing rifle, like with no this dude this no that no yeah this guy. If we got like 500, percent we should be able to knock out this guy like a lot faster or whatever. Okay, guys, so he's almost tamed. I was just talking to Mike, and apparently you can't breed Apex Compies. So he's just trying to ruin my life at this point. That just This mod is just designed to ruin my life. Oh, there we go. Nice. So, oh, my God. They actually hold a lot of weight, too, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, they hold a lot of weight. 1,700. Actually, can you pick them? Wait, can you put them on your shoulder? Oh, no, you can't put him on your shoulder. Balls. I was hoping I'd be able to carry him around, man. That would actually make having one of these guys a little bit more manageable. Um, well, you know what? You can have some of the prime meat here. You deserve it, guy. Well, actually, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve anything, really. So, we have an Apex copy. He looks amazing. We still need to get a female one. Now, I was actually thinking, Mike says... Uh, a broodmother is very good for torpor. Like they're called an apex Mayanka or something, Mianka. So we might try to get one of those. Also, there's an apex scorpion. Apparently, the apex scorpion isn't quite as good, but they they do attack really, really fast. So we might try to do one of those to tame some more. Uh, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Let's actually. I kind of still want to tame a calico today <laughs> um I, I don't know here anyways let's uh let's go down here let's try to find something to kill uh, our bird is up there somewhere okay you know the pteranodon is probably gonna fly away but i want you to attack this target attack that target get him get him boy 200 oh yeah baby 291 damage and then so, dude th this guy is just like a mini t-rex pretty much except for he attacks way faster and he is faster and you can't ride him uh, but he actually he holds more weight too. Like this guy is just like he's just like a compact little killing machine, man. I actually saw oh dude, I saw an, a, a pack of aloes, an actual pack. Apparently, it's called an Apex Alpha Mianka, and it's the it's the brood mother. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to try to tame. They probably spawn the swamps, but I have seen actually scorpions in the jungle here. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try to tame both of them at some point. Um, but they they probably will not. Well, the the broodmother will probably be hard to tame, but the scorpion will probably not be that hard to tame, especially compared to this guy. Uh, this guy is purposely made hard on purpose because you actually need him to summon in the rest of the creatures, which I don't know how you do that actually, dude. Now, now there's like seriously no dinos right now. There's like absolutely no dinos right now. Um, there's there's the there's there's no di okay yeah there's the Leman Lamantria get that guy oh that guy's actually level 560 get him get him copy get him go get him okay so <laughs> he pooped everywhere uh, so I'm gonna find something cool for this guy to kill and then we'll be back and we're gonna level him up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Well, I can't find anything super crazy for him to kill. I've had him kill some trikes, a stego, uh, some anklos. I don't know where the aloe pack is that I saw earlier. Uh, I was going to have him kill that, but I have no idea where he's at. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here, though. Go ahead and post name session down below uh, for the Archaeopteryx and also this guy. Some cool names for this guy for sure. We want an amazing name for this guy. Also, he looks freaking awesome, dude. Look how cool he looks. Uh, we definitely need to make a pack. Now that I know the, the way I need to tame this guy, which is pretty much just, like, be floating in the middle of air and tame him that way, we're going to tame some in the future, and hopefully it'll be easier. So, we're, we're trying to get a pack, we're going to try to get a gang bonus, and it should be awesome. Also, we need to get the Calico, we need to get a Scorpion, and then we need to get a Broodmother. So, those are some future goals there. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Actually, before we go, attack that guy. Boom. Get him. Get him. Attack him. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Dude, he absolutely... Actually, before we before we stop here, let's go ahead and give him... How much health do you get? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. About 30. I thought that was like 100. Okay, and then how much uh, damage do you get? 89? Okay. Okay. You know, I mean, we'll probably end up only doing health and then some melee damage. Maybe get the movement speed up to like 160 just so they can follow me a little bit better. But, yeah, guys, this is, this is fantastic. This is really, really good.